Hello everybody, we would like to uh, share with you today our presentation Custom Obsession in 10,000 plus uh, size. It's a part of category Customer Centric Culture. And my name is Katka Tomáškova. My name is Monika Hrubá. And we are from Česká Spořitelna, uh, part of Erste Group. Our bank was founded in 1825 as a, it's the largest and uh, the most uh, old bank at the market. And what is really nice, it's, uh, it started with a purpose that we would like to serve underprivileged clients. Today we are quite large bank, uh, having uh, 470 uh, branches, uh, almost 2,000 uh, ATMs. We have 10,000 employees, one and a half uh, million of customers active in uh, internet banking, and our clients base is almost 5 million large, so it's a really big bank. So uh, what is our initiative about? Uh, recently we decided as a bank for the bold step. Uh, our company changed its organization structure uh, with the aim to better serve our customers, their needs, and also to bring much more inspirational uh, in working environment for our colleagues. Uh, the new organization setup is uh, built on the two main building blocks. Uh, one of them is cross-functional teams called squads, which are responsible for the delivery. And second uh, important building blocks are chapters, which are responsible for expertise, for quality standards and enlarging maintenance standards for the given expertise area. So it means that after the years where, for example, four people were responsible for gathering the client's feedback, we enlarge the number of people in the bank who are responsible for knowing customer needs, the expectations, customer pain points to more than 200 people. We had to, at the beginning, uh, identify the internal personas of our CJs because we needed to know what are the expectations of our colleagues and how to motivate them to work better and serve customers better. As I said, uh, because uh, customer feedback and insights and knowing customers were needed much more. We have much, by much more larger uh, colleagues. We needed to democratize CX within the bank and we needed completely new platforms and tools for our colleagues. So why we decided to do the change and the thing? Uh, our NPS was the lowest at the market. Uh, we have really big issues, although our profitability and the business results were quite great. Uh, and we also suffered with a low engagement of our uh, employees. So this was the one thing. And uh, with, the, with the modernization and the di digitalization of the work, we, we also felt that our speed is relatively slow. So instead of the traditional hierarchical structure, we decided to go and change our internal structure to more agile way where all people are working together in small groups and are able to deliver the final product within a relatively short time and with uh, much more uh, higher efficiency of the team. Uh, to do that, uh, we also decided and we have to uh, democratize our tools, as Katka said before. We decided that uh, it hasn't been um, one place where everybody can get the expertise, but everybody should have access uh, to all the tools available in the banks. And that's why our initiatives as a C, uh, CX experts was to uh, broaden the portfolio, educate people much more and, and prepare for the environment which they can access easily and uh, anytime. This was also the way how we can solve the bottlenecks of the, some expertise which were locked uh, before in small groups and we have to wait a relatively long time until we get the expertise. So democratization was something we were really much looking forward and this was our aim to, to improve that. It's important to say that uh, from the beginning uh, the top management was involved and uh, their commitment was the key for our success. Uh, the transformation had a dedicated team for, for, from board members and B-1 managers from the beginning and uh, they together designed the uh, CX principles, the new purpose of our, of our bank and uh, decided for a lean character of our future organization which are organized in tribes. Uh, Another important thing is that all the tribe leads were selected through assessment center. Everybody in the new organization has to undergo the uh, assessment centers from the tribe leads, the only B-1 managers, to every squad member. And uh, the principal was uh, hired for attitude and trained for the skills. 
Uh, so one of the most important role in the new setup is a customer journey expert role, who is responsible for the customer view and customer know-how. We have more than 200 uh, customer journey experts at the moment who are organized in the 19 chapters, which are organized into areas uh, for retail one and for corporate as a second one. As Monica already said, we have to democratize all the tools and platforms uh, to have them available for these 200 uh, plus uh, customer journey experts. At the beginning, we have to decide it to adopt some kind of CX methodology. So at the beginning, we train all the customer journey experts for customer journey mapping, customer journey management. Secondly, we uh, learn them how to create communication and how to communicate with our customers or how to do UX testing and all the testing with the customers. Uh, also, as we have the same common, common standards, but for, for sure individual development plans for every CJs uh, based on the customer journey expert metrics. And uh, we also involve all the customer journey experts in testing or setting uh, requirements for the new tools which they use afterwards. I would like to present the tools which we develop for our uh, company in order to democratize our principles. There are 10 of them, so I will quickly go through and introduce what they have available. The first one is uh, online MapEx tool, which uh, enables us to create and design customer journey maps in an online environment. But what is really good is that everybody has access and everybody can join and edit the, the way from uh, his or her uh, seat. The second thing is uh, the platform, how we are recruited our respondents for UX testing or any prototype testing. So again, it's online tool which enables every customer journey expert to order and, and recruit the customer based on our persona. So he can, for example, order to Marta persona for evening testing at five uh, at our premises. The third one is uh, intranet uh, storage of our data. So this is again something like a small Wikipedia where they can join and, and see our internal data, our external research researches, and all the things which are already available in order not to duplicate the insights from uh, to make, make them twice, but uh, utilize them efficiently. The fourth thing is, uh, is actually quite nice premises for really professional UX testing with all the black rooms and, and all the technology behind that, where they can conduct the research themselves uh, without leaving the, the bank environment. The fifth uh, tool is a mobile tool. Uh, it's actually uh, online feedback from our customers uh, responding to their satisfaction with our channels. So if the customer visit the branch today, we will get the feedback immediately and everybody from our customer journey expert can see if the client was satisfied or not. And we have also the results for retail and for, uh, for corporate for any other uh, breakdown we, we needed. The fix um, uh, activity is actually a Google community because uh, everything what is, what is in just cast portal now at the moment is based on, on Google. And uh, what we are doing is actually we are placing all the news and uh, the category industry updates, news from other markets, news from other competitors at this uh, platform in order to increase engagement of our uh, employees and just, just to see how we are performing again the outer world. The uh, seventh uh, activity is actually we have a customer board where we are solving the, the highest pain point, the strongest issues which are arising at, like uh, ongoing. And uh, this is the board which is happening uh, online or offline, depending on the COVID situation in, in the country. But we are meeting with our board member and ombudsman, uh, call center, and all people from benches. And we look at the week and we solve what is necessary to do. So we, um, we are quite efficient in that. And we solve many pain points this way. Uh, then we have a really nice tool where in online environment, we are testing our communication with the customers. So for example, if we are writing email or SMS, and we would like to be sure that it's, it's well understood, it's well prepared, and it's, it's uh, it's likable. We are testing it before and within 24 hours we have feedback from real customers and we can fine-tune the con communication to deliver it in a best possible form. Then we also make some enjoyment rising activities. So for example we are doing six pubs, six quiz uh, where people can refresh their insights or their um, learnings and they can win some prizes. This is really great because people are excited. We also do activities such as uh, for example hackathon where for two days we intensively focused 
for example, on our communication with customers. And with all the experts at one place, we solve the, the many issues and we change our templates in order to be better for the customers. What we do, because uh, we have more than 200 of uh, customer journey experts, and we don't have like uh, endless uh, resources. So we decided that we will go uh, for a train the trainer uh, at the approach and people who are already experts in some, some areas are training the rest of the people. So in this way, we can, we can increase the knowledge and, and be relatively uh, consistent and efficient. So thanks uh, for that what Monica presented you. So far, uh, the customer view became an integral part of our day-to-day -day thinking. Uh, we are still uh, way ahead of us, but we can already see some positive effects. Uh, thanks to that, that we know our customer journey journeys and uh, customer pain points. We were able already to solve more than 100 plus initiatives based on customer pain points. And it's already the positive effects we can also see on uh, from our clients because our NPS from uh, year 2018 to 2019, it means the first year of our transformation has uh, raised by 90%. And also, we already see success in uh, our employees' engagement, which uh, uh, raised for 130%, which we see also thanks to this transformation, as we are more, more focused on customers, their needs, uh, and also we put much more empowerment to do people. So they are much more involved in the decision making. And also we, as Monica already mentioned, change our working environments. It means the home offices, and also we, for example, establish 12 uh, more day offs uh, for our for our employees which is something absolutely unique on a Czech market thank you very much it was a pleasure to present and hope you like it thank you